Sublifters. So today's session was kind of terrible, but it is, I don't want to say my fault, however, the circumstances got the best of me. So yesterday I was at my one of my best friend's graduation party and I came at home at like 4 a.m. because I had to basically drive him and he drank, he basically drank so he couldn't drive. So I basically had to bring him home since we actually live pretty close to each other. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes, as I always said, you can't wait for the stars to align. Uh, there are always, you can always have optimal uh, conditions to train and you have to do the best that you can do. So basically, today I had five hours of sleep in me. I ate, I, I don't want to say bad food, but I didn't really eat uh, a lot of clean stuff, a good type of foods. I felt pretty bloated, I was all over the place. However, I came down here with a mission and the mission was deadlifting and checking out my form to see if it declined when the weight got up. Because as you know, I PR'd for 145 and I felt like my back was rounding. Um, however, I'm pretty sure that it didn't and you will see why during the exercises, during the later sets actually. And you'll also notice that uh, basically today uh, the majority of the video is gonna be muted because my earbuds were uh, empty like they had no battery so I had to basically listen to the music out loud and I don't really want to get the video copyright strided for music I have no idea how that works so for today it's gonna be a quieter session you can see that I implemented this type of kind of wider stance which I later kind of swapped to a more narrow one since I felt better and the difference was so minimal in the great scheme of things that it didn't really matter too much. I also thought that if I actually had lost the four centimeters of the, of the tatamis from the floor, I would have actually maybe even, I don't want to say gained a better position, but I believe that it will be almost the same because if you think about it, now that the bar is higher, uh, it makes contact with my shin in a, high, in a higher position. So my dorsiflexion is quote-unquote limited. So in theory, if the bar would be lower, I could kind of sit back a little bit more. So I really think that it's kind of the same thing, you know. Uh, it's just a little bit more range of motion, but it doesn't really hinder my ability. So I decided to record from this side today, and you will see that the back stands pretty much uh, the same way. And today, so as you kind of understand, I had no sleep, I had no good food. I also tried to do a paused one, which is going to be a good accessory. So maybe in a leg day I would actually do uh, pause deadlifts instead of Romanian deadlifts. Maybe once a week I will see what to do what to do with them. And yeah, basically here I was just warming up, okay. So as I said, I had no good food. I didn't really drink a lot of water. I felt like poop. I slept five, five hours. I was extremely tired. So what had I left in me in order to have a good first session? Well, I had a thought that... I got, yesterday basically I was watching the European Junior uh, Weightlifting Championships, so I'm talking about Olympic weightlifting, since there is this phenom, which is Giulia Imperio, which is a young Italian girl in the under 23, so it's the Juniores, I believe, and basically she set the new European record for the snatch, for the clean and jerk, and for the total, and she won the event. So I wanted to see her lift, right? And what I noticed from her is that when she starts lifting, she has a certain aggressor, aggression towards the bar, you know? She isn't completely cool. I mean, it's a controlled aggression, like the one that you need to have to MMA. So I decided to try to bring that in and have a bit more confidence when I lift the bar up. And you can see that, number one, my reps are a lot faster than what they used to be do, with what they used to be, and uh, it, it actually helped me a lot. Uh, so today I did 155 15 kilograms, which is higher than the last time that I did a 5x5 with deadlifts, which was 110. Last time I did 110 and I did 5, 5, 5, 5, 3. Today I hit the same amount of reps, but in the last one, instead of three, I got four, and maybe I could have had the fifth, but my head was in the right place. So you can see that my form pretty much is always the same. Sometimes I tend to kind of fall forward because I'm basically getting pulled by the bar. However, the back is not is never kind of giving up, but you can see that I'm basically pulling the weight off the floor, then I get basically uh, pulled towards the bar, and then I come up and I believe this movement that I do at the beginning is what I feel like 
uh, that the back is rounding, when in reality it's not rounding, I'm just getting pulled forward by the bar. So I need to kind of understand how to avoid this in order to perfect my deadlift form, because this is a problem that I've never really noticed before. And as you can see, we're going deeper with the reps. And you can see that the back is, al is always pretty much straight, there is some kind of slight, extremely slight uh, rounding, but it's nothing crazy and it's not in the lumbar spine, it's more toward the thoracic spine, and I mean, you know, a lot of reps actually starts catching up to you. I need to be cleaner with my locking out of the knees. Uh, however, there is a one weird thing that happens with my right knee, which basically doesn't hurt, but I feel like, like it's unstable, you know, it kinda clicks a bit and it's a weird sensation, so I'm not too sure if I want to actually lock out the video. So this was also the last one, and you can see that there is the audio, and it is because uh, my, um, how it's called, basically I'm using a, a, a Bluetooth speaker, you can see that the black thing in front of me there, I'm using that to reproduce music, but it was also basically a completely empty battery, so I had to do it in silence, and it was extremely tough. So as you can see, I got the two, then I tried lifting up the third, and I lost my brace, so I dropped the weight, and then I got the, the last one. And I felt like I could have gotten another one, but I was too tired, and as you can see, my back was starting to give in. So I feel like that I brought them right in the, best, in the right place. I'm happy with the result, especially considering the situation uh, that I'm in. Uh, I'm also extremely happy with my form. Uh, although it was starting to kind of lose some tightness towards the end, but it's fine. 5x5, five five, I believe it, that it, it isn't really the best rep scheme for the deadlifts. I might consider switching to a 3x3 three three or 3x5, three and we will see in the future regarding that. So more intense with less sets. Uh, besides that, uh, it's okay, I didn't do anything else. I was extremely tired. Uh, mentally, I was completely drained and lost. I had nothing left in me. So that was it for today's session, and again, if you don't have time, if you feel like poop, just go there and teach your main movement for the day, because this will allow me to basically progress forward. It won't be as good as a normal session, since, you know, I, I have a kind of a slip depth, that's how I like to call it, that I'm gonna have to kind of uh, get back in the next days, but uh, there's really nothing else that I can say. Um, it's, I'm still gonna do more progress than if I didn't do anything today. So, that is it for today's video, see you guys tomorrow.